All right, how's everybody doing? It's kind of a, a quick video chat about um, just got this mic on, sorry, about the Dunhill, and uh, it was great. Really was good, a good watch. Um, very good golf played by everybody really. Um, Hatton equal in the course record, but the most strange and interesting comment was from uh, the bold Bob McIntyre saying that he wanted to blow up the 17th hole at the old course. Um, worst hole in golf. Uh, he can't play it. He, he's got it in his head now, I think. And that's what I wanted to say. I mean, you call it your nemesis hole. I know I mean, the likes of me and you and everyone else out there will have at least one hole, possibly two nemesis holes on every course they've ever played. And uh, if you let it get to you, you've got to work out a way of playing it and safely playing it. Um, I don't know why um, Bob has let it get to him the way he has. I, we'd need to ask him. Um, there's many ways of playing that hole. Obviously, if you watch like the real long guys like Rory and um, Hatton played it the same way, they went right over like the old or whatever on the old course sign, cutting the wall and landing wedge nine iron tops, probably 52, 54 degree wedge and along the angle of the green, making the green longer. But obviously, if Bob wasn't feeling comfortable with that, well, Colsarts, Colsarts um, went bailed, bailed out left, like miles left. He bailed out so far, it was unbelievable. He was on the other fairway, just in the semi-rough. And uh, he had an odd angle in, but he's playing uh, to the green, obviously, width-wise at an angle. So a, a, a harder... Um, second shot, but if you've got the yardage and you're confident with your clubs, I guess that's the key. It's it's missing and making your miss uh, area big, I think, for nemesis holes in golf. Um, but like I say, um, people are saying that Bob McIntyre's had a really long, hard uh, season, played a lot of golf, mostly in the States. Um, Mentally, that is going to take a toll over you if you're playing week in, week out. And he's maybe been... <laughs> he was he was caught out on the old course a few times and uh, Kings Barnes being a bit grumpy when he was, like, putting out on greens and people were uh, driving just short or onto the green. Um, so he's maybe not been in the best of moods. Um, you don't know what's been going on but we've all got nemesis holes and that doesn't mean we go about blowing them up <laughs> or uh, a classic here was uh, somebody uh, took a, a saw and cut down a tree that was on the uh, last hole locally I'll, I'll not say uh, well I think I can say the golf course it's Tillacootry golf course somebody took a tree I saw a tree on the in last hole because they kept hitting it every single time with a driver. It made the daily record. <laughs> um, and uh, obviously, you know, what do you play here? Well, it's a, it's a saw, a drive, and a wedge. So, you know, it, it, it baffles me. But at the same time, I found it quite amusing. So, anyway, uh, see you all soon. Hope you've enjoyed this week chat about Dunhill and Nemesis Holes in golf. We've all got them. Comment below. What's your Nemesis Hole on your golf course? And what do you find hard about it?